Another day, another dollar, another dollar, another coin magic tutorial. You guys love them and I love to give them. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a fairly hard coin trick that involves some finagre of some coins on a table, but it's something that you can do anytime, anywhere, assuming you have the coins. In this case, we're gonna be using pirate coins by illusionist.com. You can find them in illusionist.com slash pirate coins and use code pickcake to get 10 percent off what would you give me if i drank the water inside of this fidget toy hmm? a thousand likes and i'll drink this now usually i love to make use of my non-sponsor taco bell bath mat that i use as a close-up pad because i'm cheap and i'm lazy but not today we're not going to need this we're going to need the soft yet hard surface of an amazon.com coffee table no i didn't blow 50 dollars worth of a dime bag that's just the surface of the table that happens to wear thin with moderate use the second thing we need is of course the illusionist.com silver dollar sized pirate coin now people want more bang for your buck and i say hey get the silver dollar one because each one has two pirate coins in it watch all you have to do is just spin it on a table of course, it turns out that this uh, Amazon.com table really isn't that good for spinning coins. But once we get a good spin, we can actually chop that coin directly in half. In this case, giving us two half dollar sized pirate coins. Talk about getting booty. So for this, my friends, you're gonna need three coins. In this case, we're gonna be using two half dollar sized coins and we're gonna be using one silver dollar sized coin. Now the setup is very simple. We're just gonna take both of these coins and place them in finger palm in both hands. Now this is gonna take a little bit of practice because you wanna make sure that both hands are marrying each other. Both hands look natural. You're able to gesticulate, gesticulate with both hands and still look like you're not holding anything in them. One thing that helps is, uh, well, just grabbing something else. In this case, like a silver dollar sized coin. Now you could display the coin and talk about its properties that it's actually two coins melded into one to make a silver dollar sized coin. You could prove this by of course spinning it on a table. And here what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin it on the table, but we're gonna try our best to actually not let the coin spin, which is gonna be our excuse to take this coin over here in the right hand. And as you knock on the table with the left hand, here's what's taking place with your dirty right hand. We're actually gonna execute a move from Bobo's coin magic, Bobo's modern coin magic known as a transfer, which looks a little bit like that. Now this move is gonna be done under heavy cover. In this case, the knocking and the repositioning of the coin is where we're gonna take place but this move is actually not that difficult to do. So let's get into it. So first things first, you have the coin in finger palm and you have the silver dollar displayed at the fingertips. Then what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna curl this finger in, my index finger, I'm gonna curl it in to the crotch, the crotch, the crotch of my right thumb. Now, as I curl it in to the crotch of my left thumb, I'm gonna raise my thumb and clip it in what's known as a thumb palm position. So with the coin in this thumb palm position, I'm now able to manipulate this other coin freely with my left hand. Now this is taking place as you are repositioning the coin to apparently spin it and give it a more thrustful spin. But really what you're doing is that you're switching it for the half dollar size coin. Now in action, here's how the move looks like. You're gonna bring the coin back as you knock with the left hand, which is a great cover because you have a coin finger palm there. Now, as you are knocking, that's when you start the initial part of the actual transfer sequence, which is just putting the coin into the stump palm. Now, when you bring the hand back, this is where this coin is gonna come into play. And what you're gonna do is now you're just gonna grab it between the fingers of the left hand that's still holding onto its coin, and you're gonna spin that bad boy. Now, because it's spinning in motion on the table, the spectator is not gonna be able to determine the actual size of the coin because of the motion blur. So you're gonna make sure that you get a good spin on it and you draw attention to the coin. Now again, because the coin is in motion, the spectator is really not gonna detect the fact that now you have this coin that's been switched out. Now, one thing to recommend is putting a magnet in your back pocket. These coins are magnetic. So when you just have the attention on this coin, this coin goes south and you could ditch it by tapping it on the magnet that's on your bum pocket. So once the coin is spinning, all you're gonna do is just chop it. Now, when you chop it with the left hand, notice what's happening. I'm gonna make sure that that coin goes to the left of my hand. At the same time, I'm gonna chop, which is gonna drop this coin. Now, when you combine that action with a nice little chopping action, it's gonna look like you split that one coin into two. It's a very visual moment, and it's one that's gonna take a little bit of effort to get to this position, but once you nail it, it looks beautiful. So it looks like you just chop that coin into two. 
So we have one silver dollar size coin and now we split it into two half dollar size coins. So the whole sequence looks like this. You find a, a good position on a table. Turns out that this uh, Amazon.com table really isn't that good for spinning coins. But uh, once we get a good spin, we can actually chop it directly in half. And now we have two half dollar size coins. Oh yeah. Now one word of note, you don't need the pirate coins as much as I like to show them here because Illusionist is paying me the big bucks. You could use a half dollar and two quarters. You could use a English penny and maybe two other smaller coins. So you can really play around with the coins that are available in your country. Now there are a couple different methods to actually combine those two coins back into the silver dollar, but I'm gonna leave that for another video. You see what I'm doing? I'm throwing the bait and I'm really in, baby. So thank you once again for watching this video. I really do appreciate it my friends hope to see you in the next one hope to see you in many more me and the illusionist family that's right me and bratty daddy christian sitting by the fireplace watching a yule log burn as we drink some eggnog and oh yes you could rest assured that we're both going to be wearing a copious amount of eyeliner from ninja one the callback